coloring books. Really popular, a lot of money. The places where you can sell it is Etsy, but of course you can use Amazon as well. Just take a look at some of these. This guy has been sold for 3,000 times at $19 each. You can just imagine how much money that is. So today I'm gonna to show you which AI tool to use and how you can just approach to this just like these people are and of course make money. Now, first of all, you gotta decide or you can just take both Etsy and Amazon. I mean, my suggestion is to always diversify your income streams. So just make yourself an account on Etsy and on Amazon KDP. Amazon KDP is a bit harder to get. You will have to be approved and they will just take a cut of 30% while Etsy is gonna have way lower fee for that but of course Amazon has way more traffic. If you just compare the two you can see that Etsy.com has almost half a billion total visits per month while Amazon of course has 2.3 billion total visits so that's a thing to think of you know Amazon will take greater fee but you have a lot more people to see your product and eventually to purchase your product so my suggestion just go with both nothing hurts now in order to make something like this and to sell it you don't have to be a really creative person or you just have to draw or nothing like that you know luckily today we can use AI tools but please do not use mid journey because first of all you gotta take your own prompts and second of all you have to pay for it today I'm gonna show you one tool which is free and always will be okay so it's called Leonardo when you head over to the website which is entitled Leonardo.ai you will see that it's not in the discord at all because you have the option to launch the app so this app is in the browser okay so you will just enter your first name email and you will be on the early access list and when you go inside you will actually see how really really good this one is even better than mid journey in visuals have a look at this this is what you are gonna see when you just come inside these are some of like recent creations that people have made and right away you can see the power okay now something like this is really really great for us because look at this if I wanted to recreate this for my coloring book I can just take the prompt okay so this gives you the prompt that has been used in order to generate this image they even have the negative prompt and if you don't know what negative prompt is well that's what you type and that's what you don't want to see in the picture so that's why it's called the negative right now you can here see the fine-tuned model that was being used in order to generate this one and it's Leonardo diffusion so what can you do now you can copy this prompt then click on this generate with this model as you can see click on this one and then of course just paste the prompt inside of this you can of course add a negative prompt as well that's what I suggest we're just gonna go back and I'm just gonna click on this one and I'm gonna copy the negative prompt I'm gonna paste that in this box which is for that I'm gonna paste it and then just click on the generate button now you can see that you can create a number of images so you can just go with one two three four but each one of these will cost two tokens and you can see these tokens but you don't have to worry about that because you can just see that you can reset these in seven hours each 24 hours you get 150 so that means you can create 75 images per day for free now you can see the result here now we get rid of this so we just have to edit our prompt a bit or you can just use it with another tool so just have a look at this one for example this is what we created now so it's already ready for that coloring book but of course if you want to go with like kids niche that's going to be way better because those sell like crazy these on Amazon for example I mean kids really love it their parents love to buy it and they really sell a lot have a look at this one for example it has been sold over 1.7 thousand times and it is 12.72 dollars each so 1.7 times 12 dollars each that's twenty thousand dollars for this person now what is good about this one is that you just have to create it once okay each product you create once and then you just let it go out there you don't have to like update it you don't have to like come back to it it's a dumb project for you which turns into some kind of a passive income for you you know you don't have to like recreate the thing you just watch it grow you know it grows by itself because the more sales happens well the more reviews you're gonna get and people just want to see those they want to see those reviews and when they see like 
It's been sold for over a thousand times. It's got some good ratings. Well, people are just more prone to buy those. So my suggestion would be if you just started out, if you are just a beginner, just lower the price down, okay? Because if you don't have enough reviews, well, people are going to buy your products if they are cheap enough, okay? So that way you can just gather a lot of those reviews one by one. Just go easy. Don't be like frustrated if you don't see any like progress in, I don't know, two, three, four days. Just wait it out. And of course, in the meantime, you make more of these because the more you make, the more chances you've got. And of course, you can use this like... Leonardo recent creation tool in order to search for something. Have a look at this. If you just head over to fine tune models, which is here, and then you just go to community models, you can search the gallery. Okay, so you can search what other people are doing. Or you can just scroll down and see if something is suitable for you, if you like something. Or maybe you have totally another project which you can take and you just want to go and recreate something. Now, when you copy someone's prompt, it's not going to be like forbidden because you will never get the same image, okay? Leonardo and Midjourney, they will never give you the same image even though it is like the same prompt, okay? So it's always going to be different image, original one, but the style is going to be similar, okay? And that's enough. Etsy or Amazon, they don't have any strict rules for that, especially for these coloring books. But I want to show you something else as a bonus in this video. And that is something else on Etsy that sells really good. Take a look at these. These are called patterns. And patterns really sell like crazy. I don't know, people just use them for print-on-demand things, for some wrapping papers, for some wallpapers. I don't know, there are like many uses for it. But they really, really sell a lot. Just have a look at, I don't know, I can just take this one. They're really cheap, to be honest. So you get like 20 of these flowers, seamless digital papers, and it has been sold almost 5,000 times. It is $2 each, but that's like almost $10,000 for like a simple image with like these 20 flowers, seamless papers, you know? Really, really good thing. And you can make this one in Leonardo as well. You can search for patterns. I actually have some in my personal feed. I was just like bookmarking some of these. So let's actually take a look at some of these. And here they are. These are like patterns, whatever. And you can just go and you can just copy the prompt once more. Choose this fine tune model that has been used. And of course, just paste the prompt and let's just see the result. Also, what's good about this is that anyone can use this. Anyone, whether you are a teenager, whether you are, I don't know, doing something for your university project or just want to make money, you can create patterns like these really easily, okay? If you don't like have, if you just don't like this one, now you can just go and you can just change this fine-tuned model, okay? You can just go to Dream Shaper, that's a good one, or Leonardo Diffusion, which is the standard one. And when you generate the image, you're gonna get a totally different result. All in all, it all depends on you, you know? The more you practice with this, well, the better you are going to get, you know, and of course, the more experience you gather on all of these selling platforms, well, the better for you. And of course, later down the line, you can think of some like marketing, something like that, some kind of a content generation thing, which can help you to just gather more audience for you. Something like a blog post or maybe YouTube channel or maybe TikTok videos, you know, they work well. So if you want to do it, later if you want to scale this business and it is possible let me tell you well you will just go and find a solution for that to gather some traffic some more traffic to your links even though etsy and amazon have a lot so you can see not really hard to do simple pattern you can use it coloring books people also sell like these digital clip arts there's many possibilities, you know. If you are serious about this one, now you will go on a wild research, you will see what people do, and you will just replicate their success. No need for you to reinvent the wheel. It's not so hard. Just go and do it. I'll catch you.